Well, after the success of Ted, a day with Ted Davis, the farming prop on Jungle Productions, I've got to be honest, this is the one I, I have been chasing and nagging for a good couple of years. Uh, but finally, I had a call for him. All right, John, I'll do it. So, bang, I'm not going to mess about. This blog is called <laughs> A Day With Her Open Sight, Mr. Ben Q. Evening, Ben. Hi, John, how's it going? You all right, buddy? Yeah, not bad. A bit nervous. <laughs> yeah, <but it's>, uh, <laughs> this is Ben. Ben, um, just to let you know, training's moved tonight and uh, we're off to land our Ben, aren't we? Aye. Um, so that's something that happens. We've gone very well with that. It's hundreds of those. We've well, got Ben, don't we? We're yeah, in a good working yeah. relationship, isn't it? To be fair, it's brilliant that I'm to allow us to go up there and train when our pitch is wet and stuff. Takes a bit of the heat off the grow because it does have a lot of use and it's yeah, only pitching but that's, got the lights on and stuff. It's such a good relationship, isn't it? It's yeah, just, it's got about, this is one of many things we do. We play the work Jaffa. We had a home game up there as well against Skewen early on in the season. The work of Jaffa putting that through is brilliant. So it's, yeah. yeah it's thank, thanks to Landlord Rugby Club for letting us do it all the time. Yes. It's uh, good. So anyway, <laughs> this is it. This, as I say, this is the start of the blog. Um, Ben's greatly agree to meet up with me Saturday morning, Ben, have not you? Yes. <laughs> Saturday morning, yeah. and um, we got we got a nominated player. We're going to have a chat to on, on the make a phone call. An actual fact: this is the Christmas edition as well. Oh, I, I think you're pleased. I'm pleased you about that, Ben. Oh, have to dress up Saturday. You have to dress up. I know you are. You're not shy of dressing up, Ben, do you? I'll get the gym suit back out for one day. <laughs> yeah. So, um, as for the season, Ben, the season's been going all right, but he didn't they? Yeah, the start of the season, obviously missing a lot of boys with the, the old farm wedding season, the, the scourge of the club at the moment, to be honest, every start of the season. Yeah. Just missing boys, missing boys for different reasons, and a few key injuries, but now we, uh, we're coming into our own. I think we, we're more than capable of getting into that top four this season, and the season, and next season and the season after, I don't see any reason why we can't win it and get up into the championship. Well, that's 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 such positive. I remember we were on the coffee the other day about that, man. And when you have talked like that, it just filters that positivity through the club, doesn't it? Yeah, but I think it's right It's right through all of us anyway. Like All of the boys, the boys come out, you know, the successful youth team that came up a couple of years ago. We're all used to winning now. We had them a couple of years in Division 2. We won my eyes back-to-back -back championships, even though we were robbed by the WIU for the, over the COVID like, yeah. scandal or whatever it was. But... I just think that, that that will be our level. I think we're equally as good as any team in this league. Yeah, we lost them. Them early losses this season will probably cost us a little bit from getting to the top two. But I think we're more good enough to battle than anyone in this league. It's a shame that, I, even though I love the cup round, but it's a shame we didn't get to play Glenith now on Saturday. Oh, yes. I think they'll have a shock now when they do come to play us again. <laughs> yeah. Well, that fix, well, well, you'll be updated when we get news of when we're replaying that fixture. But as Ben pointed out, it's the cup now. Uh, it's down nice. Be a tough old game on the grow. Uh, Two thirty kickoff. Come down because you know more than anyone, Ben. It means such a lot to you guys having a big crowd down there. The crowds have been over the last few years. The crowds have been growing. It's what we have quite a good following now. We've been yeah. flying heavily away on uh, on Anglesey and last support set number. There's two to one in a three-hour trip. So. You know, not, I don't think many clubs at our level are getting that sort of travel and support. And it does mean a massive amount to the boys. Like when you're there and you're cheering on from the sideline, yeah, it does. It definitely spurs you on. And that was a tight game, and I think it could have been the difference in the end with just that. It made it feel a bit more like a home game. Like yes. there were so many people there watching us. It was brilliant to see. A good sesh afterwards. Yeah, yeah. Well, <clears throat> not to spoil it. I think if you want to see while well, this how the day progress, it would be the. There'll be no crutching and bellying. Do you know what that means, Ben? Uh, Save that conversation. Could be, could be tailing some geese before we <laughs> get some, some geese. <laughs> anyway, tune in. Stay tuned in. It'll be a fascinating day when I'm with a day with an open side. I was trying to talk with you like that. Cheers, Ben.